You know three rookie quarterbacks? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> what was your three? Um, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, oh. yep, Pat yep. That's a good one. Uh, Lamar Jackson. Yeah, I mean, you got a better list than us so far. Justin. Oh, Justin Fields at <laughs> number three. <laughs> Flaming hot Gino. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode, Barbershop Break Room, episode 92. Here. Where are we going first, y'all? Who deserved the MVP? MVP. Was it LeBron? Was it Curry? MJ. Was it Jokic? Who's the MVP of Team USA? Steph Curry. Steph Curry. I got to agree. You agree? Jordan, do you agree? I think I also agree. You agree? Yeah, I oh, think so. Damn. You don't want to put it on me then because I definitely don't agree. Um, And, I mean, here's the reason why I don't agree. I think. Well, I agree for last game. But for yeah. out, throughout the Team USA. Who was the most consistent? LeBron led in every category across every country. So yeah, um, Steph Curry. The last two games, he's the key factor of why they won those games for sure. Um, could have anyone else stepped up? Maybe, but Steph is the one that did step up and was hitting Especially shots that you when could, they were down by seventeen as well. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, like the daggers. Put them to sleep. Both in elimination games, too. Yes. Um, the reason I have LeBron is because in the totality of the whole Olympics, he was he had the best field goal percentage by a wide margin. He had first in assists with 51. And second place was Devin Booker with 20. First in rebounds with 41. Second was Anthony Davis with 40. He was second in points behind Steph Curry. LeBron had 85. Steph had 85. 89 but also he was second in field goals attempted so lebron did shoot less he had 53 attempts to Le to steph 61 also he was first in steals tied with anthony anthony edwards steph on the other hand ninth in field goal percentage fourth in assists tied for fifth in rebounds with surprisingly katie and Embiid. um first That's in points <laughs> Uh, first in field goal attempts and seventh in steals tied with Tatum. So I think you just look at the totality. Tied kind of with Tatum? Tied he didn't Tatum. play. <laughs> <laughs> he was tied with Tatum. Four steals. I mean, he got four steals at least. I don't know how Tatum got four steals. Tatum got four steals in got four, four minutes, but that's crazy. <laughs> four steals. Um, <clears throat> so I give it to LeBron. Though. I don't disagree. But, but the, I very but, well think that they he definitely has his for the case. I wouldn't be it. mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm you not, did the last I'm not two mad games, that LeBron got it. I, I don't. know. I feel like there's just there was too much stock in the pool play games. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like the, a lot of those games is kind of like they do and don't matter. I mean, right. team has team especially USA when you play matter. like Brazil and Australia. Oh wait, not Brazil. Uh, South who did they play? S they played South Sudan and Puerto Rico. Yeah. I mean, Puerto Rico's team was terrible. You know what I mean? It was bad. It was just kind of like, I just felt like when it mattered and when they needed somebody, he was. Steph showed up. I think Steph and LeBron are the two that showed up. Oh, for Especially sure. Especially in the. Which uh, is crazy, like on that team. The old heads. And KD stepped up in the fourth quarter against Serbia. Dude didn't score any buckets the first three quarters. Yeah. <laughs> Come the fourth quarter, he's like ISO mid-range dagger. Um, For sure. I, I I think it's LeBron personally, but I mean, I wouldn't be mad if Steph got it because of what That's he did. That's how I feel. I'm, yeah. I'm not mad yeah. at who they gave it. I'm just saying it just because. Yeah. I don't think Jokic like should have got votes. Huh? I don't think Jokic should have got votes. For MVP? Yeah. I don't think so. I think it has to go to the winning team. Especially on the Olympics, <laughs> like in the yeah. Olympics, it's because he played. He played two games or three games still because he had the bronze game. Yeah, you know what I mean. So and a lot of people. I saw some people saying like, like three games as in like elimination games. Like yeah, he played bracket games. And I it, saw a lot of people saying that if Jokic didn't have terrible teammates or something like that, they would have been beat Team USA. And I was like, if that Can't was pick the case, from your country, brother. Uh, yeah, also, if that, that was the case, point? 
wouldn't the Nuggets win the championship every year because he has way better players around them? And you should yeah. be able to beat other NBA teams that aren't like Team USA. Right. Yeah. So like right there, your argument's invalid. So uh, the craziest thing I've seen was Nuggets fans, like full blown rooting against Team USA just oh, for, yeah. for Jokic. That's crazy. They were like, work. bro, root for him for 82 games in the playoffs. This is the Olympics once every four years. Your country. Like, root against that. <laughs> Yeah, it's. I mean, you root for some players. Like, you just hope they do good. You just hope they don't beat Team USA. Yeah, Nuggets Twitter was uh, praying for Serbia to win. Yeah, it was probably medal. a crazy place. It was oh, yeah. a really crazy place. Bogey going crazy. I'm like, good for him. He can't do that on the Hawks though. For yeah, some he reason. was going nuts. <laughs> I just feel like they get into like these NBA systems, and it's just like a lot of players are like that. Mm -hmm. They get in these NBA systems, and it's just like they're so controlled and like held down almost to where you have to play within the system or you don't have a spot yeah out there for the when you're playing for the country like you only got a couple weeks to practice and then you go it's kind of sometimes just like just go out there and play ball yeah just go do your thing yeah it's like aau Could, yeah put in a couple easy sets and just go hoop i mean and bogey would probably be the number two option on serbia yeah and he just went out there and hoop yeah that's what he did just play look like me you just play yeah. i was gonna say Derek, you were uh one game you were the number two player on the team, huh? It was, and then I cried. I was talking shit to Mello. I work think the out. title of our episode got to be, we get a, uh, did they win bronze? Yeah. yeah. We got an Olympic bronze medalist on the, on the podcast. On the podcast. <laughs> I should have like got an Amazon bronze medalist. <laughs> 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 we'll bring the next episode. My bogey Serbia jersey. and Yeah. You got to DH gate that. Yeah. It's going to yeah, take it'll, six it'll, months. It'll be, <laughs> yeah, it'll be a while. It'll be a long, long Until episodes. next Olympics. <laughs> 2028 what I else know, we got speaking of olympics i know jordan has a little uh I say, I do a little have, game have oh a we got an olympic game for the olympics um i couldn't tell you what year this list was made i have no idea but espn it was a group of doctors former athletes and analysts that made a list of the hardest sports to be a professional athlete in. It was based off of, I believe, 10 categories. Let me look really quick. You'll have to cut this. And as you're, no, nah, I'll keep it. And as you're looking, if you do hear the the sound in the background, they're still demolishing the building. Yeah, they're next about halfway down. So <laughs> they're still, we'll, we'll add an update video as we walk out for you, like I did last episode. So here's the building. That's what it looks like. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> it is loud as hell. It is loud it for is. us. So hopefully it's so not loud in for you. Have fun. <laughs> so the um the categories that they ranked it on, I'm pretty sure they right gave them now. a score like one to ten from endurance, strength, power, speed, agility, flexibility, nerve, durability, hand eye coordination, and analytic aptitude. Golly. Which I didn't know what that was, to be honest. It's the ability to evaluate and react appropriately to strategic situations as in a quarterback reading a defense or a point guard on a fast break. So they Matt, gave them all you. a score. I believe it was one to 10. I want you guys to try and guess the top five sports that ESPN said were the hardest to be Top five in. most difficult? Yeah. You want to just go back and forth? I I mean I'm pretty sure we're just throwing shit at the wall here. I mean, who's it on right now? Right now it's on Matt. It's on me. Yeah. Go with our favorite game that we like to watch. On every Sunday for sure. Well, mostly every Sunday. It'll be on this year, some Thursdays, some Fridays, some Saturdays, and some Sundays. Football. Maybe Mondays? and Mondays too, actually. Football? <laughs> yeah. It's football. That, is that so football is number three. That's considered an Olympic sport? Well, I don't know if they were Olympic sports. It was just sports altogether. Oh, sports I, oh, I misread it at oh, first and oh, thought it was Olympic thought, sports when I okay. texted you guys. I should Okay. Have. I thought we were talking Olympic. Olympic okay. sports. Yeah. I was about well, to pull. I was, I was about to pull <laughs> fencing out. But it's including Olympic it sports. It does too. include the Olympic Break sports. Breakdancing. Like I know. <laughs> 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 you seen that lady? Oh, yeah, country, bro. bro. 
It was so there rough. was there was sixty sports included in the list. Um, Dang! I only screenshotted the top ten and then moved it down to the top five for you guys to guess. If we want to go top ten, we can. But I figured five would be five is probably the best one for us because wouldn't I don't take know. too much time. Um, is basketball? So basketball is on there. It's number four. So we got what? Four and what? Three and four. Three Football and four. at three. Basketball at four. What you got, Matt? What's a super hard sport that's not football or basketball? Baseball. Well, that's a good one. I think baseball fell just outside of the top five. I think it was like seven or eight. Dang, baseball's not hard. Baseball is hard. <laughs> not um, ESPN don't think so. Golf. Golf Ooh. was far as hell. All right, well, this list is down the list. Terrible. Now, it, I think it's because of all the categories, oh, okay, like the yeah, ranking, yeah, yeah. Like, right, including right, golf right. is yeah, yeah, yeah. hard. But you, you could be like you super out be, of shape and still yeah, be a good golfer. Yeah, you don't have to be agile. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, I'm thinking of a sport that you kind of have to be in shape in somewhat. MMA. MMA is not on there. No, way. it is farther down. So is wrestling considered MMA? Wrestling is not considered MMA, and wrestling. wrestling is number five. Okay. Okay. See, that's good. So you have so we three, got, four, and five. Yeah. You need the f- number one hardest number and the number two. two hardest. And these are like what known sports, right? So what's the hardest sport? Soccer. Soccer's Soccer a good one. did not make the list. Dang, either. dude. 0 oh for 2. <laughs> is, dude, um, you got to run for days in soccer. Yeah, Literally bro. miles. You got to be conditioned. Um, is it like a major sport? Um, yeah, I would say the last two we've all watched. Like hockey? Hockey's on there? Yeah. You want me to add, like, pretend say to it, say, it say it again? It again? Okay, I got you. Is hockey on there? It is. Number two. Nice. So we need, oh, we need number one. So you, you said we've all watched it. sport. So it's not MMA. Okay, so hold on. We've done football, basketball, wrestling. MMA, soccer, hockey. No, football. Basketball. Basketball. Wrestling, wrestling, and, hockey, and hockey. Yeah. So there's, it's not baseball, it's not golf, it's Minus not car. soccer. Uh, NASCAR, F one, one of them too. No, no car racing. Is that what you're saying? So yeah. Motorsports were on there. They but were the down there. They were pretty far down. Yeah, because you know what. I think you kind of have to be in shape for that. So I pulled up the I pulled up the full list all the way to sixty golf. Just for reference, out of the scores is fifty first. Still fifty first. Golf is fifty first. Is rugby? Rugby is not the hardest. It's thirteenth. Can you give me how many times like they play? A year, you think? I was gonna say rugby for soccer. Are they in a league? Like, is it a league? Um. I guess kind of. Said we've watched before. You've definitely watched it. We've all watched it. I think Cricket? MJ's even watched it. <laughs> um, um, there's not really a league. They probably, I can't give you that last hint. It's going to be too much of a giveaway. You think of some other sports? What about rugby? It's like I basically said, the same thing. You I said, said rugby. That? Okay, my bad. Yeah, It's like 13th. Rugby was 13th. Um, I don't want. We watched tennis. Is it tennis? Tennis. Tennis is seventh. Oh, we got the top ten. I thought you had it. You had top it. five. Um, we could have just done top ten because mixed martial arts was six. Six. You said yeah. Um, Dang. And then baseball was eight. Dang, MJ would have had two. What about soccer? No, baseball was nine. Soccer was ten. Damn, Damn it. you would have had it. We had the ten. I know one. What? Skateboarding. Ooh, skateboarding. Tony Hawk? X Games mode. I don't He's going on X Games mode. So wait, no, I have a skateboarding question. Skateboarding is 37th. Since I said MMA yeah. and wrestling was different from MMA, is boxing different? Boxing is the boxing hardest is number one sport. Uh, according and it's to ESPN. Not in the Olympics anymore. No, they took it out. <laughs> yeah, after this year. They took it out. Yeah. According to ESPN. Now, ESPN used Break to dancing. look like this. Oh, that's an old. This uh, is how old the article that's is. A, 
But I figured since it wasn't like a subjective list, it was based on they ranked it. Well, I mean, it is subjective to whoever did it. But you had, I think it was 15 people that made the list one to 10. They averaged it out and then put them in the categories and ranked them. That makes sense. Um, I figured that there's not really like a expiration date on that. <laughs> like they, so, they get easier like over time. Easier or yeah. Yeah. So yeah, your top five is boxing, ice hockey, football, basketball, wrestling. And then to round out the top 10 is martial arts, tennis, gymnastics, mm. baseball slash softball, and soccer. So we got four out of the... Rest of the yeah <laughs> half of the five right out of the top ten was number eleven was skiing skiing's hard bro number twelve is water polo thirteen is rugby fourteen's lacrosse and where's 15, handball yeah where's handball saying? brother it probably wasn't made yet <laughs> it wasn't a real game yet I'm gonna be honest it's probably not on there what's 15? team handball is twenty six oh it is there fifteen is rodeo steer wrestling. See, that's something I wouldn't want to do, bro. Hell no. That's crazy. I would not want to do that. Um, and then pole fall to 16. You know what's something I do want to do again? Speaking of pole fall. <laughs> I was going to say, something that I do want to do Australia? again is probably go, uh, hopefully this week, you see Justin Fields go out there and fumble some more. That's what I want to Shut see. the front door. So if you want to talk a little bit about that, man, of your uh, beautiful quarterback, Looking like fourth grade me. No, trying dude. to get the. Trying that was not his snap. fault. It was not his fault. That Might was be. Nick Herbig's fault. I think they don't want to give the starting job to is Zach Frazier, the center. Mm. Zach Frazier that we drafted. They don't want to just give him the job. They want him to earn it. So they put Herbig there at center to kind of like give some competition. Herbig is a guard. That's just what it is. He's not a center, bro. You watch the slow motion videos. You watch the slow motion videos. He hits it off his thigh every time because he's too worried about getting to the right or getting to the left. Both times put the ball on his thigh when Justin is still up here. And I mean, that's some simple communication stuff. I mean, that's like next level. You put the ball on your thigh. You the quarterback's it. supposed to slide it, slide over, take the ball. If you have to, if you have to reach over and make a block. Yeah, they put it over there so you can so you can take it and step that way. He really didn't have to. I think it was just he just fucked up. I thought you were going to say they they were trying to sabotage Justin Fields. No, no, not no, get no, the no. starting job. They're like, no, I think put the crap because as soon as Frazier came in, who is an actual center, there, there was, was no, no other hiccups at all. Yeah. So I guess my only question is now I've never played center. I don't know how hard it is to do. Um the guy's hands. I can't say what I want to say. Are yeah, you know, they're very like the quarterback's hands. Are, yeah, you're there. Are in a sensitive spot. Yeah, you feel it. Yeah, yeah. So Especially how you do you not goose. get the ball to where? I don't know you if it was like miscommunication or what, because he was snapping on his leg. Yeah, and not up. It was weird. I don't know. But I know Justin that like you have hands to in his gooch. I know you have to like. <laughs> it's where the ball. I know sometimes go. if you have a block right here. If you have a block right here that you have to get to, and say the guard is getting to the next guy, you're sn- – or wait, is it here? It's one of the ways. I don't remember. But, like, say I have to get over here and I snap it here. It's so that I can, like, open up faster. That way. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, um, I think you snap it here if you're trying to get there. Yeah. Snap, snap it, to it your on right your thigh right thigh if, if, you're you're trying to, if you're trying to pull left. Yeah. Not pull, but Go left. stretch left. Yeah. So you put it on that right thigh so that you can take this step and it ain't going to mess anything up. But I I don't know. Yeah. It was just like when they slow motion videoed it, I watched it twice. He was just like bouncing it off his leg and it was just falling. I'm like, like, what are we bro. doing, bro? Like he wasn't told he was playing center before the game. Right. That's what it looked like. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Like. I know I'm not comparing myself to Justin Fields, but uh, fourth, and then you got a dude competing for the number one job, and you you got him in there with that guy. Yeah, not even showing what off. he can do. But uh, take your hoodie off. It's fourth hot. grade me, bro, I would go Come over here. Just don't touch your mic. <laughs> You're good, MJ. Um, fourth grade me, I would like go out, 
We went undefeated this season. Undefeated. Get under center, bro. The first. Oh, you won games when you played football. Went undefeated. First three snaps, bro. I fumbled every snap. <laughs> dropped, dropped. I'm like, coach, it's not me. He's like, started yelling at me. I was crying. He's like, if you want to cry, go play basketball. And I'm like, I'm not playing basketball, coach. And you continued to play football and went on to win how many games? We went undefeated uh, your, that your year. Your high school career. We went undefeated that year. Yeah, in fourth grade. We went undefeated um, that year. But no, yeah, good. Mom. Justin Fields, he'll get it back. You know, <laughs> just switch the center. <laughs> um, I know for the Browns, I mean, we didn't have a very great showing. We had Jameis Winston out there for a little bit, and then we had Tyler Huntley out there for a little bit. Um, lost, of course, to the Packers. So shout out to those cheese heads. But um, your brother was probably your mic. I mean, yeah, no. I mean, we real football fans know if you win or lose a preseason game, it's not a not a huge accomplishment or loss. Like the Browns went four and zero in the preseason one year. Guess what they did that whole season? They didn't win a game. So preseason doesn't always correlate to how you're gonna do in the regular season. So no, but it's. First game of the year, I'm sure you're still probably excited to see your team win. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I I didn't, unfortunately, get to watch the Steeler game. Not a real fan. So, well. I'm joking. Yeah, yeah. I know why. Had to go somewhere. Yeah. Friday night. Yep. Um, But I'm sure if they would have won, I probably would have been like, oh, instead of, oh. Nah. Nah. Oh, well. We had, uh, I got to see the Penn State legend. Um, what's his name? Quarterback, Penn State. Daryl Clark? Clark? No, he's on the Packers. Oh, uh, Trace McSorley. No. After That's him. who I thought he was talking about. Oh, I can't think of his name. I'm choking it now. But you ever heard Trace McSorley's oh, song? Uh, um, Dude, don't no. say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Okay, I have it now. Don't say it, now you're going to Clifford, play. Sean Clifford? You, yeah, yeah, Sean Clifford. And I'm like, no way this dude's dicing our defense up right now, bro. I'm <laughs> like, he's driving down the field. Um, but did you guys play any starters? No, nah, yeah, yes and no. I mean, obviously, nobody like Miles like, Garrett didn't play, but mix and match of like offensive linemen. Um, you could say some receivers, starters, but like Mari's not out there. Well, Mario Elijah Moore is not out there. Amari wants gone. All right, you calm down. Yeah. But no, we Green Bay started more starters than we did. Y'all leaked that news about uh no, it's, it's trading uh, him to the Niners. No, and he said, no, well, no. That that's a Steelers beat reporter trying to sabotage us. Mm. He's trying to come out and be like, mm. yeah, let's throw some shade on the Browns, make him mad and uh disrupt their locker room. Well, you guys know who uh I'm going to probably butcher his name. I forget his last name, but Mike Garofalo, I believe, the NFL reporter. Um, he said, even though the Niners and Ayuk have re engaged in contract negotiations, he said, if Ayuk decides that he does not want to re sign with the 49ers, a deal is in place with Pittsburgh to send him to Pittsburgh if they cannot guarantee him the contract he wants in San Fran. So all it would take is Ayuk to say, I don't want to be here. You're not meeting the my demands. A phone call from the Niners to the Steelers, and they said a deal would be done in literal minutes. Dang. I don't. I don't That's think why. Ayuk's gonna go anywhere. Yeah. After all of this, I feel like he's not gonna go anywhere. It's just. A, but I'm gonna be like honest. A, as his teammate, do you want him to still be there? After all this, uh, I think the players don't care too much. You don't think so? Nah, I, I mean, think they, they just know he, they know he wants his money. They're yeah, looking at it from you a player's. It. Yeah, they're looking at it from a player's point of view. Yeah, I cannot believe Martavius Bryant signed with the Commanders. I was yes. going to say that. I'm That's like, insane. Guys right before we started, he he signed. Um, and Chase Claypool to the IR. Unfortunate. I thought. Peace. I really, honestly thought Dude. that he was going to have a fucking. He was in a ball out this year, just because. <laughs> Who else did the Bills have? They got Keon Coleman. They got Keon Coleman. They got uh They're gonna bring back uh what's the dude Cole was, Beasley. What was what's the dude that was <laughs> sweet last year? Um They don't have Gabe Davis. Oh, they got a little dude. Uh Al something, right? No? 
I know the little dude, like the slot receiver dude. That yeah, kind of showed little up. slot receiver. He was good. He he was balling against man. us. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I thought Chase Claypool was gonna. I mean, Khalil three Shakur. Receivers. Khalil Shakir. Yeah, yes. that's it. Yes. Mac Hollins, the dude that eats spaghetti with his hands. They got oh, that yeah. dude. That dude is. And they got something else. MVS. Valdez Scantling. The drop lord. Yeah. So they. I and, literally turned on the game and watched him drop a pass. And they got Andy Isabella. Jesus. They got the the white dude on the team too, so they're good. KJ Hamler's there. Curtis. Oh, they have Curtis Samuel too. I forgot about him. Oh, they did get Curtis. They got, Samuel they got Curtis Samuel. I completely forgot about that. So I mean, they don't have a terrible receiver in core. Not the greatest. Not the best. Um, Davis Bryant hasn't played in six years. <laughs> he played for the he XFL played, yeah, last year. Not the NFL, but six year NFL game. Yeah. I'm, I just like refreshed my ESPN and it was one of the top headlines. Commander's son Bryant, despite six year NFL gap. That's wild. So what else we got? Speaking of preseason, I know we can just cover this a little bit, little quickly. I know CBS reporter Josh Edwards made a uh, list of ranking the rookie QBs based on their preseason debuts. I thought you were going to say a different uh, list. Uh, how they, where they fare up between one another. And his list goes one with Caleb Williams, two with Bo Nix, three with J.J. McCarthy, which I'm surprised about. He actually did ball out. Four, Michael Penix, five, Jaden McDaniels, six, Drake May. And then they just had other notable, you know, rookies that randomly, you know, play throughout it. So I wanted us just to kind of give our top three coming into this year. Top three, top three. Top three. Who do you think is going to be the best rookie quarterback this year? Do you want to go first or you want me to go first? Top three, top three. You can go. You want me to go? Yeah, go ahead. Number one. I got mine in my head already, so you can go. I'm not, I have to say Caleb Williams. I mean, he's set up the best out of everyone. So I got Caleb Williams, number one. He's just got a God squad offensively around him. Um, number two, give me Bo Nix. I was hyping it up in the draft. I said he's better than J.J. McCarthy, so I'm going to have to stick with it. Bo Nix is better than J.J. But J.J.'s right there. He's number three. You talking about dudes that's going to be starting for the Broncos? J.J. McCarthy, number three. <laughs> That's where Bo Nix is. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's my top three. That's your three? Yeah. All right. You love it. Bo Nix, uh, baby. I'm gonna go with Caleb Williams too. He looked okay. He looked pretty decent. Um preseason, you know, but like you could tell he kinda he was comfortable. Um Caleb Williams and then uh Jaden Daniels. That's number two. He was balling. He looked I mean, like I said, preseason, he looked comfortable as well. He was making he was making throws downfield. Comfortable throws downfield, not just dinking and dunking, nothing stupid. Like he was in the pocket letting it go. Ripping it. Number three. Ah. ah. Say it. It might not happen right away. Joe Milton. Oh, hey. Bro, he might, he might start. It might not happen right away. <laughs> he might start. I'd start him. He was looking all right. Yeah. <laughs> I, it was against third stringers, but he was looking all right. He was looking like Malik Willis in the beginning. He was like, oh, he's got that speed <sighs> for sure. He can do this. He was making he throws, that. though. Oh, yeah. Well, you got three? I feel like Malik was, too. And you got three? You got three? Uh-huh. All right. Let's hear it. Three rookies? You know three rookie quarterbacks? <laughs> 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 hey, what was your three? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Um, Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Patrick. Yep. That's a good one. Uh, Lamar Jackson. Yeah. I mean, you got a better list than us so far. And Justin Fields. Oh, Justin Fields <laughs> at number three. <laughs> Flaming hot team. <laughs> I like that three, MJ. You forgot your boy. Who? Who? Chase Claypool? No. <laughs> CJ. Oh. CJ2K? You're coming in right at four. Yeah. Okay. That's why. It's because he didn't play for the Steelers yet. Um, Who do you think is going to be the best rookie quarterback? Patrick Mahomes. He's not a rookie. Uh, who is? F- first, first year quarterback. Someone that just started in the NFL this year. Like, oh. like Caleb Williams. Uh, J.J. McCarthy. J.J. McCarthy. Bo Nix. Drake May. J.J. McCarthy. Remember we watched the draft? All those guys. <laughs> Caleb. 
That's your safest bet. Yeah. Caleb? Caleb mm-hmm. Williams? Yeah. Yeah. I tried to whisper JJ McCarthy. I, I saw him just, say no. He, just and shook <laughs> his like, head like, he does like Justin Jefferson. He just knows where JJ McCarthy went to college. Yeah. No, yeah. I still like Justin Jefferson. I know you do. The best college uh, in the country last year. I just not anyway. this year. Um, I just don't like JJ McCarthy. <laughs> why not? Why don't you like JJ? Because. Because why? Because he played for Michigan. That's what I'm talking about. Because he made about. you sad the last three. I'm years. talking about. <laughs> <laughs> all right jordan what's your top three uh i'm gonna go caleb williams one like you guys said i mean he set up the best for success um i think just because of weapons around him i'm gonna go with jj mccarthy second i mean you have the best receiver in the nfl to throw to so i think you can't really fail with that no um and then number three i think will be uh Jaden Daniels, I think that he's going to have still. a great year. I don't know that his team's going to have a great year, but I think that he uh, is definitely going to be a dog. Yeah. Once, once his rookie contract's up and he signs somewhere nice, he's going to be a real problem. Duh. Yeah, that's how I feel about the uh, – like Bo Nix, he might be all right too. He doesn't have – But his team is going to be dogs. Yeah, he don't have the team around him. Um, I like the Jaden Jaden Daniels. I just think that I'm still surprised they moved on from Sam Howell because I thought Sam Howell wasn't absolutely garbage and that you couldn't win with him. So He was Baker Mayfield. Hey, you can win with Baker Mayfield. Sometimes. Um, Baker Mayfield, Werner Minshew, Sam Howell, all the same guy. That's crazy. So what else we got? I know I, Jordan, do you have anything before I go to this? I didn't want to take, no, take I got something away. right at the end. Um, something real little. I got a little game. We're speaking about quarterbacks. And then uh, after this episode, after a little bit, we're going to post our top 20 QBs. Um, let's go over the top 10 worst quarterbacks when it comes to accuracy, at least for last year. So Jordan, Matt, I did it based on bad throw percentage. So they had to play a minimum of 10 games, quarterbacks, start 10 games, not play. Minimum start 10 games, and it's based on bad throw percentage, meaning, you know, accumulating how many attempts you had and how many bad throws were in those attempts. Because Mahomes, let's say he throws 300 more yard or 300 more attempts than someone else, he could have more bad throws because he attempted more. So I just did bad throw percentage. So top 10. I'll help you guys walk through it if you don't get it, but I think you guys can think of 10 quarterbacks that started at least 10 games last year that are completely terrible at throwing the ball. So whoever wants to go for it. Uh, Low-hanging fruit, Bryce Young. Well, your low-hanging fruit is the number one. Bryce Young is number one. Uh, His bad throw percentage, 21.5% of his throws were bad throws. That is yikes! And Adam Thielen had a year. <laughs> that is crazy. Deontay Johnson might have a year too. He didn't start ten games. So whoever wants to go next, go ahead. Uh, Kenny Pickett. <laughs> Kenny Pickett. Kenny Pickett is number six on this list. <laughs> Shout out to your old boy, Kenny Pickett. Sit um, up. sit up. His bad throw percent is eighteen point four percent of his throws were bad throws. <laughs> Is that funny? Yeah. <laughs> um, Definitely. I can't think of anybody. <laughs> you can't think of anybody else? No, I, I think one. can't think of anybody bad. Um, um, Aiden O'Connell? <laughs> did he start 10 games? Aiden O'Connell did start 10 games. He started exactly 10, played in 11. Aiden O'Connell is... Number eight was 17.3% of his throws. Why can't I think of who's carried for the, the commanders all season? Wasn't it Sam Howe play all season? Sam Howe did play all season. Oh, let me get. I think so. Oh, it's your turn. My bad. Um, well, I won't take that. I'll let you have that one. Let me get a Zach Wilson. <laughs> Zach, Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson, number one. <laughs> or yeah. number two, I mean. 
Actually, not in the top 10. Oh, Zach Wilson. Did he play 10? Or yeah. Start 10? Zach Wilson he would be. <laughs> he would be around this like 13, 14 range, 13 to 14 range, <laughs> which is actually surprising. So Zach Wilson, it was 15.7% of his throws were, were bad throws. Uh, Sam Howe? Sam Howe, surprisingly, also not on the list. Sam Howe would have been lower, 15.2%. Uh, some of these quarterbacks will surprise you. You go. Some might be in your top 10 quarterbacks. Let list. me get Josh Allen. Josh Allen, surprisingly, also not what the f on this list. He's, he's deep down there. Pause. Whoa. 14.2%. Deep in that list. Um, um, some might say one of these guys is a running back. Oh. MJ? Didn't um, know that one. Who plays for the Ravens? Quarterback. Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson is on there. 16.6% .6 of his passes are terrible. Because he... Never mind. There is uh, another AFC North quarterback in there. Another? Played at least 10, started 10 games Zach, last year. Uh, Jake Browning? Jake Browning is not. Oh, Deshaun? Surprising. No, Deshaun was 5-1. and one. Yeah, he didn't play. I know. Nobody. So does that mean Joe Flacco? No. It can't be the Browns. Didn't play in the AFC North last year. Oh, you just said another AFC North quarterback. Currently, yes. Oh, Justin Fields? Justin Fields is on there. He's at 16.8%. I thought he meant last Nobody year. Nobody was too. open. My bad. Yeah, no, he didn't have a team around him. <laughs> Nobody was open, bro. Um, another player played on the AFC North last year, quarterback. I know one. For a little bit, maybe. What? This dude bounced around. That's the last time he played for the Vikings. Stop trying to confuse us. Played for the Vikings last. Oh, Josh Dobbs. Yeah. I, I don't think he played. Did he? I forget how many fucking teams he played for. A lot. Yeah. 16.6%. He, he, He's tied with I think uh, he played. Lamar. For uh, the Vikings. Yeah, he played for the Vikings. And the Cardinals. Last, and yeah. the Cardinals. Did he play somewhere else for some reason? I no, feel he, like he played just three. those two, I think. Okay. So you're missing one, two, three, four, five more players. Um, so we got five these are notable ten. names. These you are, guess. you think of these players, you're Go not ahead. thinking that these are terrible players. Um, Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray is a good guess. Kyler Murray is not on there. I don't know. Did he, did he get 10? If games? he qualified, I don't know if he played 10 games. Um, but no, he is not in the top 10. Okay. So the rest of the guys we might consider good One, or like decent two, three. Three are fringe top 10 quarterbacks on all of our lists. Is the other one, one of the other two, Geno Smith? Yeah, Geno yeah, Smith yeah. is not, actually. So we're looking at one, two more African-American quarterbacks. Two more. Why you gotta say it like that? And Just then so two more white. That's what Dante would say. Caucasian quarterbacks. No. One played at Ohio State. <laughs> <laughs> It would have been MJ's right outside top five or three that he had after he CJ. said Justin Fields. CJ Stroud. CJ Stroud? Yes. He's up there with 19.9% .9 of his throws. That's wild. Or bad throws, which is actually crazy to think because of the year he had. Um, give you another hint. One of these quarterbacks had a stacked team last year. People still don't know if he's a top 10 quarterback. Ooh, ooh, Mr. Overrated Brock Purdy. Mr. Irrelevant or Mr. Overrated Brock Purdy. 16.3% of his throws. Um, this guy, we were also surprised. MJ, you got one? Let me hear it. Tua. Tua is a good one. Tua is not. Oh. He's like, he's close, but he's not there. He's 14.3%. Uh, oh. oh. Um. This guy, I think ESPN made a list of their top 10 quarterbacks. I think this guy was number five, and a lot of people were shocked by this guy. Same. We didn't have him in Just our top it. 10. When um, Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert is not. There's a guy similar to Justin Herbert on here, I would say. Matt Does has he him. play in the, the NFC North? Is there a guy that yeah. plays in the NFC yeah, North? Yeah, there is a guy that plays in the NFC North. Currently. Currently plays in the NFC North. Had uh, maybe the best season of his... First team 
playoff wise in a while. Yeah, I think. Uh, Talking about uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Jared Goff. Not Jared yeah. Goff. I was oh. thinking of another yeah. NFC North quarterback. Say it. Probably Mr. had his best season because he's a young QB. Uh, Jordan Love. Jordan Love, number number seven, I think, on the list. I have to make sure I have the order right, but I know it? top 10, 17 and a half percent of it. You need two more quarterbacks. Go. Say it. Say it. Uh, Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence? Trevor yeah. Lawrence is on there. Trevor Lawrence, 18.8% of his throws were absolutely terrible. Now, if I'm not mistaken, based on your hints earlier, you said the last one was a... Uh, top five in ESPNs? Was he? Top five or top 10 in ESPNs that we didn't put in our top AFC 10. AFC or NFC? NFC. It's when me, you, and Dante made our list. We did not have him in our top 10. At least I don't think we had him. Is it not a white guy five. from L.A.? White guy from L.A. Matt? Mr. Matthew Stafford. Matt. Matt. Matthias Stafford. 19% of his throws no. were awful. Your um, the other guys that are should be, quote unquote, in the top 10 Mike. but didn't play enough games. Deshaun Watson would have been third with 20.6% of his throws. Bailey Zappi would have been fifth with 20, 20.2. Mitchell Trubisky would have been eighth, I think, with 19%. Um Will Levis would have been in the mix there as well, but they didn't they didn't start 10 games. Will Levis started nine. So he's like right there on the cusp. But yeah, I didn't want to guess him because I didn't know how many games he started. But it is it is kind of crazy to think based on bad throw percentage. You see a couple of those players like a CJ Stroud, Jordan Love, Stafford on there. Um others, you're kind of like, oh, I get it. So So does a bad throw I don't know how the like the metric works. I can but if you throw exactly. a bad throw, it can still be caught. It was just a bad throw. So according to this bad throw percentage, it is percentage of poor throws per pass attempt, excluding spikes and throwaways. That's all it says. Okay. So exclu- I, I excluding, wonder, like it, it doesn't so a throwaway doesn't be, count as one. Yeah, but I'm saying it doesn't have to be an incompletion. It doesn't it have to, be, to a be a catch. bad throw. Um, how far are we on the video, I th- we think? We got like 30, 40, 40 We're at minutes. 44, 30, 44, 40. You guys want to do one more game and then hit the, uh, or we should call it that and then do the top 20. Call it that, do the top 20? Either way, I don't care. Do 25 minutes of the top 20. Um, you want to close it out, Matt? You're the one that blew us up last week. You showed up. Uh. You blew up. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you guys want to see anything from us like anything specific or you would like us to do let us know please you know we're here for you we're here for you and us a little bit but hit that like subscribe comment so i can reply to you and argue with you because i enjoy it oh thanks for watching um until next time tell them thanks for watching mj hit us with the outro what so thank- <laughs> so thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace. Give him a peace. 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 <laughs>